Getting your affairs in order. An end of life planning checklist. Nobody wants to think about what happens to their life's work after they die. The idea of having to face your own mortality is difficult. It's even more difficult to then have to go ahead and plan what happens after you pass away, but it's important to do. Whether you are getting up there in years, joining the military, or just living life day to day, it's a good idea to have some of your affairs in order. End of life plans, decisions you need to make. There are a lot of decisions you'll need to make for when you pass away, whether you have a spouse or not. A good place to start is by creating your will. Wills, living wills, and advanced directives. A will is a legal document that lays out your wishes about your assets and responsibilities. This can include things like your home, money, cars, and also non-assets, like any minor children and what happens to your body. If you don't leave a will after you pass away, it will fall to the government and court system to split up your possessions, often giving half of the assets to a spouse and the other half to children, after using those assets to settle any debts. Many major decisions that must be made after your death concern what to do with your remains. If there is a specific way you want your remains handled, such as burial or cremation, you need to specify in your will what you want. If you don't, it will be left to your family to decide what to do. Thanks for watching our video. Learn more about this topic, fiscaltiger.com.